dreamed of owning a Lamborghini Aventador SV, but felt discouraged by its hefty price of at least $500,000? Well, here is an inspiring story for you. A resourceful father and son duo managed to create their own Aventador using a 3D printer. They started with a meticulously detailed 3D model at a 1 to 10 scale and dedicated five years to this incredible project. Their work gained attention from numerous publications, and to their surprise, Lamborghini even sent them some original parts as a gift. Among these parts were the headlights, which cost $5,000 each. The printed components were crafted from the PLA plastic, reinforced with carbon fiber. The final car weighs approximately 1.2 tons, and is set to impress spectators at the Bandemir Speedway this August. Amidst the ongoing debate among Italians, French and Americans regarding the origins of barbecue, Sweden is offering a unique twist. It seems that the solar energy revolution is making an impact, with a significant surge recorded last year, reaching 2.6 gigawatts. In this spirit, even barbecues have gone solar, as enthusiasts have meticulously constructed a system consisting of 48 hand-aligned glass mirrors. Although finding the optimal position requires some effort, the meat cooks to perfection, since the barbecue reaches temperatures of up to 377 degrees Celsius. We can only hope for sun-filled days for this skilled craftsman, but without the excessive heat experienced last year. Check out this skilled handyman from Hong Kong, who deserves the attention of Harley Davidson and other motorcycle giants. He ingeniously transformed a discarded motorcycle into a remarkable two-in-one custom creation. Firstly, the bike exudes coolness, thanks to its built-in speakers, laser lights, and an eye-catching crazy locust design. Secondly, it offers practicality, as you can not only ride it, but also effectively clean the streets using its clever exhaust pipes. Moreover, this system proves advantageous in races, leaving your competitors eating dust, literally. Welcome back, new recruits. Get ready to meet your new instructor, who will guide you in building a device that's almost as impressive as Schwarzenegger's in Commando. Don't worry if you lack soldering or programming experience, there's a simpler option available. We've got a nuts and buttons setup that anyone can handle. The parts list is readily accessible, and you can find everything you need on Amazon. As for ammunition, get creative and shoot tomatoes, tennis balls, bottles, or whatever else you can think of. Plus, if you add a remote control, you can easily achieve a pressure of 1.35 atmospheres. However, do remember to check local laws first, as some states in the US prohibit such devices. Back in the 1970s, the United States saw the development of the KR-1 single-seat airplane. It was wonderfully simple. They offered not just do-it-yourself kits, but also sold the blueprints separately. This approach was a resounding success, with over 10,000 kits sold in 40 years. Even today, you can try it out yourself, as a KR-2 kit can be purchased for around $8,000. The most skilled craftsmen even offer their own custom versions. Take a look at this remarkable KR-1, built entirely from scratch over eight years. With 
With a top speed of approximately 280 kilometers per hour, it's practically a celestial hot rod. Would you dare to take it for a spin? Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Steampunk Patrick, of course. Suddenly, everything makes sense now. It explains why Patrick exhibits extraordinary strength in certain episodes. His eyes occasionally change color, and his head emits smoke during intense mental exertion. To assemble this masterpiece, the creator used parts that can be purchased on Taobao and UV resin, which enables the application of thin layers that harden rapidly. The final outcome is truly remarkable. In fact, it'd be fantastic if the creator could curate an entire exhibition dedicated to the inhabitants of Bikini Bottom, accompanied by the iconic Terminator soundtrack. Check out this amazing video that condenses four years of work into just a couple of minutes. You're seeing a homemade buggy, featuring parts from a Suzuki GSX-600F motorcycle and a Suzuki Samurai off-roader. The craftsman also uses SolidWorks, specialized software used to create 3D models. With a powerful 600cc engine generating 86 horsepower, this buggy can reach speeds of up to 130 km per hour. Surprisingly, the seemingly simple design went through 15 concepts, 8 variations, and countless hours of work. The end result was so impressive that the craftsman even contemplated mass production. It leaves us curious about the potential price. Did you know that over a million amputations are performed worldwide each year? Unfortunately, the prosthetic market can be frustrating. Take this handyman, for instance, who tried the iDigits model but found it slow and uncomfortable. Determined to find a solution, he designed and built his own prosthetic. It's a simple, practical, and affordable option, as all the parts are available on Amazon. Made of metal with pure mechanical mechanisms, it doesn't require batteries or anything like that. Each finger consists of fewer than 10 components. The entire process, from design to final assembly, took approximately 600 hours. Interestingly, if you calculate the cost taking those hours into account, this homemade prosthesis comes out to around $48,000, which is cheaper than the iDigits model. It's too early to stop shooting, so let's talk about this wrist-mounted mini crossbow. Initially, the creator was simply having fun and didn't intend to share the results online. However, it turned out to be quite impressive. This mini crossbow features a magazine that can hold up to five rounds and allows for rapid shooting. It's suitable for indoor training as the power is limited. You can shoot pen rods or opt for safer printed ammunition that won't cause harm. Interestingly, a business idea emerged in the comments. Combining the crossbow with Nerf ammunition would attract immediate buyers. For now, you can find the STL files for printing on Thingiverse. Have you ever noticed those unique petals that move back and forth on camera lenses? They're called iris diaphragms, and they help adjust the amount of light that enters the camera. So, why not apply the same concept to upgrade windows? Well, a skilled individual took up the challenge and created a 1.2 meter iris window for his front door. He didn't stop there either, although he rarely shared new videos. It's a shame because these windows would be perfect for Hollywood directors looking to create scenes like those in Home Alone or Stargate.
You can now get these nifty mini tables from the UK for just $192. All you need to do is provide the make and model of your car. They come with a tabletop size of 60 by 45 centimeters, and you can adjust both the tilt and height. They're perfect for grabbing a quick snack on a long road trip or adding convenience to a camping party. They're easy to install, requiring only a screwdriver and a 13 millimeter wrench. The whole process takes just 10 seconds. These tables have already made their way to 15 countries, including Japan, and it's easy to see why. LED displays can be found in backpacks, helmets, and even entire buildings nowadays. However, these inventors have taken it a step further. They've embedded an Adafruit Flora board weighing just 4 grams into their cap. This allows them to program various glowing patterns, from hearts and squares to an equalizer display. The system is powered by a compact 500 mAh battery and communication and charging are handled through a USB cable. What's more, you can assemble this cap yourself on a reasonable budget. The Adafruit Flora board costs only $15. Some folks are fortunate when it comes to their neighbors. Take this inventor, for instance, who built a cart with a touch of hot rod culture for a five-year-old child next door. Using a garden wheelbarrow, a scooter engine, frames from old bicycles and even parts of garden chairs, they created a Frankenstein conglomeration, as described by the creator. Two 18-volt Makita batteries power the vehicle and allow it to reach speeds of up to 20 kilometers per hour. Even adults don't mind taking it for a spin. If you're interested, you can find step-by-step -step instructions, complete with photos and videos at instructables.com. If you happen to have a river nearby, why not consider building your own portable mini power plant? The creator shares that the first version generated around 1.6 watts of power, and in the second version, they even incorporated an old drill to achieve a gear ratio of 1 to 5. Although both versions may not look visually appealing, they do the job, and there's still potential for further enhancements. The inventor is particularly interested in developing a larger, barge-sized version for use on a bigger river. Jet Surf is a motorized board that lets you ride even without wind or waves. It's gained popularity thanks to its impressive speed of over 60 km per hour and the fact that jet surfing is recognized as an official sport with a world championship and local tournaments. However, it comes with a hefty price tag, with boards costing around $22,000. That's why homemade jet surfs have been making waves, getting both economic advantages and the attention of onlookers. According to the creator of this board, it took approximately 200 hours of work, with the engine costing $766 and additional components like carbon fiber costing another $220. Surprisingly, the homemade board reached a speed of 70 km per hour on calm waters, outperforming many commercially available models. <laughs> 